screening expression libraries. Here we will start with uh, expression cloning. If DNA library it is established by using expression vectors, then each represented clone will express and produce a polypeptide chain and then it is further screened after expression. Uh, I think you are well aware about the expression vectors that are used to construct expression libraries. Aksar ukaat ye ho sakta hai ke agar hum target clone ko insert kare host organism mein by using appropriate cloning uh, vector to zaruri nahi hai ke all the time uh, ye clone jo hai wo host organism mein express bhi kare. Uh, agar ye express bhi karta hai to iska jo expression hai wo bada low ya poor hota hai so uh, under such circumstances to uh, regulate the expression of the target clone expression vectors uh, they are used so one can say that expression vector they can up regulate uh, the expression of a target gene especially in biotechnological applications but keep in mind, this high expression, it is not always desirable for host uh, microorganism. The reason is that if the target clone, it express some hazardous gene, and then its expression, it may be harmful uh, to the host organism. So under such situation, it is uh, also very important to regulate the expression of such genes. But overall, uh, we can say that uh, uh, expression vector they can use to upregulate uh, the expression of beneficial genes. So, in case of expression vector, the main target is that to regulate the transcription level. So, the control is transcriptional. So, that we can produce high quantities of messenger RNA that will later on uh, translated into functional protein product. Sometimes what happens that uh, even native promoters of the target clone, uh, they do not express into the host organism. Or if they are expressed, the expression is again very poor. Uh, the reason may be that RNA polymerase, it is not uh, uh, having a high affinity in the host organism. So this situation, it can be overcome if we use a strong promoter to express our target clone. Now, number of uh, strong promoters are available. Uh, and here, if you remember, I quoted the different examples like um, one can use lac operon operator, trip operon operator, or even uh, the hybrid of trip or lac operon, they can be used. And lambda promoter like PL, it can be used as a strong promoter to upregulate the expression of target clone. Now, we have constructed the expression libraries. Now, how we can screen them? We are going to discuss different uh, strategies. And this expression uh, uh, library construction, it is valuable uh, when we may compare it with cDNA libraries or DNA libraries or by other PCR methods for the screening of uh, such DNA or cDNA libraries. Uh, the reason is that here the screening it is not based on hybridization uh, or by probe method. Uh, rather, the screening it is based uh, on the expression of the product. So, so the product it is expressed, and then different approaches can be employed for its screening. That may be based on the structural and functional properties of the uh, expressed product. So, we can say that the expression ki base pe jo, uh, screening hai, iska advantage is that if a gene which is expressed protein ko express kar rahi hai, us, uska gene sequence unknown hai, to agar protein product express ho gaya hai, to by using different type of techniques uh, it can be detected. So, this is one of the advantages that we don't need to use uh, any probe or specific type of primers uh, 
uh, for screening purpose. Now, expression libraries, uh, they again may be of different types. They may be constructed from eukaryotic um, uh, cDNA that is constructed from different type of messenger RNA. And this messenger RNA, again, I can repeat that they can represent uh, the total population of the messenger RNA in a particular tissue type. Uh, in contrast, the libraries that are constructed for bacteria and yeast, uh, they may compose of genomic uh, DNA because here the introns, uh, they are not frequent in DNA or sometime in yeast. So that's why genomic libraries, they can be uh, constructed and their expression product, it can be detected. And for the construction of such libraries, the target DNA is ko hum uh, different methods se digest karte hain, either mechanical shearing se ya hum uh, partial digestion kar sakte hain by using different type of restriction enzymes. To iska ek disadvantage hai jo ki overcome kiya ja sakta hai. To jo main disadvantage hai wo ye hai ke sometime uh, the termination sequences of neighboring genes uh, they may be present on the uh, target gene as a result of random shearing or partial digestion and the expression may be inefficient because of the presence of such uh, termination sequences. So it can be avoided if the uh, fragment size of the uh, target gene is controlled so that uh, it is comparatively smaller and it is inserted into the uh, expression vector in all possible combination or orientation uh, so that it may be in a reasonable number, such recombinant clones, and the translation may be in all possible reading frames.